Hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Snack and Food Reviews. I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time on this, but uh, this is possibly the uh, last new candy that we will be getting this year, and that is Snickers Brownie. Um, Snickers Peanut Brownie, I apologize. Um, but yeah, uh, we recently got a new Reese's with pretzels in it. We got a new Kit Kat with mocha, and uh, we've get, gotten some new Christmas candy with the uh, sugar cookie Hershey Kisses, the sugar cookie M&M's, um, Ghirardelli has hot cocoa, uh, you know, Lent has hot cocoa, Ghirardelli has a, a eggnog piece of candy in what piece of chocolate in their variety pack that I don't remember or recall them having. They may have had it in the past, but I I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing any of the sugar cookie candy. Um, of course, you know, I pulled away from doing a lot of snack reviews and it's been mostly fast food. Um, but I do like reviewing candy, so you may get a treat or two from me in terms of reviews. Um, we'll see. But... Um, I do like to review M and M, so you're probably gonna, you're, you will probably get an M M and M review. Um, just a heads up, even though every, mostly everyone's had the opportunity to try sugar cookie M and M's, I want to get my input. But yeah, um, Mars has been doing some good things. Um, they had now this I didn't re I didn't recall I didn't remember when it came out, but Smoothie Skittles came back in August and. I don't remember a lot of like post per se like of people having it and so I was in I was looking around Circle K's for this so I found this at Circle K you can also pre-order a 24 pack of these so 24 of these nice little packs right here um but I was uh at Circle K and I found this Skittle smoothie smoothie Skittles and I don't know if I've ever seen them anywhere else um but if they were elsewhere, I was not keeping my eye open. But I went ahead and scooped those up, and I will post those at some point. No review coming with that. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, Snickers always has something up their sleeve about every year. Um, I don't remember if they did anything special last year, per se. But I know that a couple years ago, they had three different flavors, with like creamy flavors. And it didn't feel like too long ago. It may have been like... It, it 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 was probably two years ago, but it was like two di three different types of creams, and they still sell them. Uh, I don't know if they still sell all of them, but I know they had. I I remember they had almond, and then the peanut butter cream. I think they still have. But that's aside from the point. I want to give y'all the best review I can on these things, and I hope you enjoyed this video. But I would love for you to subscribe if you don't already. Go ahead and check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food, and go ahead. And like, comment, and share on this video. I would love for you to get my uh, channel out there. Um, it's been growing a lot over the past week. Been doing a lot of things, but uh, before this week, it had really just become stagnant. And I really have a hunch that YouTube has an algorithm where they hide things from people um, during certain times. Like they don't want to want people to see things that might influence their mind and so the thing is is like they don't want they probably didn't want as a mainstream media outlet they probably did not want um people uh with the word redneck in their name to have a lot of publicity because that could be aligned with uh trump of course um so during the couple weeks uh you know, hyping up to election, my page was very quiet. There was not much attention to it. And there could have been other factors, but... And I I never, like, voice anything. I don't ever voice political opinions. That's just, like, I don't know. But I feel like they had an algorithm, had a checklist of things that they would associate with Trump, and unfortunately, Redneck would be one of those. So, anyways, we're past all that. Election's over, so... We're here, and so I want y'all to enjoy this review. So here we go. 
So if you have four little bite-sized pizzas, they claim to have 90 calories in each. That's a lot of calories, folks. Um, but I'll go ahead and show, it's like a little nugget, you know? Go ahead and show you that. Room, the bright, the, the light in the room is a little uh, sketchy, so I apologize. But I'm gonna go ahead and bite into this thing, tell you how it is, and then um, I'll eat another. Well, I'll I'll bite into it, show you how, show you it, eat the rest of it, eat another, tell you how it is, and that's pretty much it for the review. So here we go, folks. So here's what the inside looks like. Looks pretty good. Tastes pretty good. There's been a lot of hype behind these. Like a lot of people love them. Some people have said they're overhyped. But for a majority, I think they all pretty much agree that it's pretty daggone good. Um, but I mean, you have to mind. Definitely, you get that, you don't get that, you get brownie vibe, but you get more like a fudgy, a fudgy processed brownie vibe, which is no surprise here. Um, it works really well, but it isn't the greatest brownie taste in the world, I wouldn't say, but it's very enjoyable. So, I think so far, I would say, good job, Snickers. Um, a very moist product with nice chocolate outside and peanut and caramel on the inside with that brownie so let's go ahead and uh, try this other piece i'm gonna save the other two pieces for tomorrow and we'll wrap up this review Honestly, not really extremely different than your regular Snickers, if you ask me. Just a little bit of brownie flavor there. Um, some dark notes of chocolate. I'm feeling a little bit of burn there. Um, that's what happens when I eat like processed brownies sometimes, I think. Um, in candy anytime. But overall, it's, it's a really good product. Um... I'm just going to give it an 8, um, because I feel like I could make brownies and put Snickers on top of them or mix Snickers in them, and it would be better, um, but for convenience sake, this is a really enjoyable product, it reminds me of like, I don't know, like a little Debbie brownies inside of a Snickers, so that's, that's really simply a good product, a good candy bar. And Snickers, you did good. Wouldn't say it's my favorite chocolate bar of the year, but, you know, it makes 2020 a much, much less terrible year, if you ask me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it, there's really been that many bad candy bars that's come out this year. So, I think the candy bar industry does not really reflect how this year's been. So... That's pretty much what I've got. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you go buy one of these, maybe. I don't know. But I've got some uh, pretty cool reviews coming in the future. Um, but I think this, this week's primer will be kicked back. So don't expect too much. You may be happy to take a little bit of a break from me. I may be happy to take a little bit of a break from all of this. But... Um, I will stay active on Instagram for sure. I'll have some posts, some good insight on things that I'm not putting video reviews out on. But that's pretty much it. Um, I do have an announcement, not a not a not a very um, detailed announcement, but Krispy Kreme has new Christmas themed donuts coming. Um, 
on the 27th. So be on the lookout for that. I'm sure we'll get um, some big major announcements pretty much within the next week. But uh, I really, I'm really itching to like just post it. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared too because I don't want my page to just be deleted because um, I make this big announcement. But we do have some interesting donuts coming there. Um, not tomorrow but the next friday and i will have a review for that just rest assured i just would love to have a partner doing it with me so i'm working on it and uh we will see and uh i will see you folks around soon enough all right i'll see y'all around Yay!